everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I hope you're all feeling really, really good. So at the start of the year, me and my family took a little trip over to one of our favorite stores ever, which is of course, Ikea. We just wanted to go and have a little look really to see what new bits they had in and just to have a good little mooch around and of course to get the famous Ikea meatballs because we can't take a trip there without buying some meatballs. We didn't actually buy anything this time but I was getting a few ideas because I have a little mini project going on in the house so that's kind of going to go along with my declutter series I'm doing but there is a monica cupboard let's just call it and it really needs a massive sort out honestly if you open the door something is bound to hit you on the head it's one of those cupboards and the kids always need to get their school shoes and bits and bobs out of there and it's honestly a nightmare so i'm really looking forward to just giving it a little bit of a makeover really and giving it a good declutter as well. There's probably shoes right at the back that the kids have probably grown out from a few years ago. <laughs> there are a few things in this video which I point out as we go along, which I'm actually considering going back to get for this cupboard. I was obviously got to clear it and do all my measurements and figure out a few things out, but there is some really, really pretty bits which I think would look so nice in that space. So anyway, back to the video. This video is gonna be a short and sweet video of a few little new things that we've seen around Ikea. Some new, some old, which are just old favorites. And I really hope that you do enjoy watching this video. So coming into Ikea, the first thing we saw was this really fun ocean theme display and the kids clocked it straight away and they just found it really, really fun it showcases all of ikea's new bring the ocean home collection and there is things from colored furniture to soft toys and everything you'd need to furnish a bedroom in an ocean theme ikea is just the best when it comes to fun and immersive displays isn't it and then this one even had like a little photo opportunity where you could sit on the bench and have your photo next to this shark so the kids were loving that as well and yeah it was just great fun and a great start to the trip so moving on into this next display here first of all i saw this mirror which is something i've never seen in Ikea before it was a beautiful woven mirror and it was £37 and then I also fell in love with these storage baskets I thought they looked lovely I'm not sure what the price is I will link everything down below that I can and I'll also put the prices down below if I don't say the price is but I'm currently looking for storage for our under the stair cupboards and this is the kind of thing I'm looking for then they had this little children's table and chairs which I think is just so adorable and I don't think it is a new in item in Ikea I think it's more of their staple piece pieces but I really really like it and I like how it was styled against this rug here and the neutral colours are just going to go into any room in which you may need a children's table and chairs if you're looking for one. This was £27 and you get the table and two chairs for that price. Then on to some more styling bits which Ikea just do so so well. They have attached these rails to the wall which I will try and find and link down below for you because I don't have the price here on the video. And then they have hung off bits with these hooks which are £2, so decorative bits, toys for the kids to play with and it just looks so lovely all together. This basket as well I really really loved. £13 and I'm actually thinking about maybe going back to get this actually to go in my under the stair cupboard storage I mean that is my next project so I'm just showing you this whole shelving unit before I go into each of the items because I thought it was styled up so beautifully together and they have some really lovely pieces on the shelves and I thought it might give you a little bit of inspo if you're looking at trying to style an area up in your home these white cardboard boxes were only £3, so really inexpensive, and they're going to be able to hide any clutter or anything that you have on your side that you don't want to be seen and keep everything looking nice and clean and cohesive. And then the bigger, deeper boxes were £3.50. The actual shelving unit, which I am not going to attempt to say, was £60. And then this round ball light I thought looked really unique and different, and that was £10. Now onto these two vases, which I just think were simply stunning. They look really nice together, but would of course look lovely on their own. This one here was £13, and then I'm not quite sure on the price of the taller one, but again, I would try and link it and put it in the description box down below for you. But I thought that these looked like they could come from more expensive homeware shops like Neptune, and they would look really, really lovely on their own, or you could put a plant in it. I think that would look really nice. Then they had this side table in this lovely sleek black modern design and they had a few items from this range. This isn't a new in range in Ikea actually, I've seen this before but it did go out of stock for a long time or they stopped selling it so now it is back. The side table was £27. Then they also had the desk here which one of the twins is kindly modelling for us. So the desk here was £45 so the whole furniture range is really inexpensive and the pieces look really simple but also really chic. 
Then as you can see, the desk is quite narrow. So if you're looking for more of a space saving desk, then this would work wonderfully for that. Or also say a teenager's room who needs space to do homework, but perhaps doesn't have the biggest room ever, then this could work there. And I also feel like it could double up as a console table when it's say not being used as a desk. Here it was again in another area of the store styled up with a different chair. So just so you can get another little look at it. More round funky lights. I really do feel like these round ball lights are in. I've seen quite a lot of them as a ceiling light as well, which just look beautiful. But this is one that comes out of the wall and this was £35. Now I cannot resist a good pegboard. I already have a few in a few different areas in my house, but Ikea now has their own here for £15. And you can either use it practically and hang off your coats and your towels and things, etc. Or you can use it to hang off like really pretty decorative bits, which is the way that I like to use them in my home. I can see it now, guys. I'm already making a little list in my head of things I need to get when I go back, because now I'm thinking that this would also be perfect for my under the stairs cupboard. Then what is an Ikea trip without a little bit of role play? This is what I love about Ikea. The kids have great fun and then also mummy gets to have her fun as well. Then we looked at this sofa. I feel like in the next year or so we will be replacing our sofas in our living room. So we're just getting a little look and feel to kind of what styles we like at the moment. The three seater sofa here was 599 and then both sofas together were 921. Then back to this range here, I found this set of two coffee tables which I think were gorgeous. They were £75 and something I would actually really consider for our living room but I feel like with toddlers and a three-year-old and kids it probably would not be the best idea because it does look a bit sharp around the edges but I think that this would just look stunning. Then I mentioned we were looking at sofas and I really like the shape and style of these like boxy sofas if this was obviously a bit longer. They have obviously all the different kind of fabrics you could get. I don't know if the fabric fabric is my favourite in this ribbed material but sofa itself was 385 which is very affordable and then I'm guessing you could add on more pieces if you wanted to make it longer. Again this isn't a new item but it's definitely one of my favourites from Ikea and it is this midi sleeper bed which is £179 which I do feel like Ikea are putting up their prices but I do love it with the bed on top and then you've got the play space underneath. Kids are going to love it and it's going to make making a den really come to life and you can just make it really fun and cozy. Now on to a newly furbished area in our local Ikea. So this was this kind of living, dining, kitchen area space and again a very very sleek modern design throughout the whole thing. These wooden cupboards above I was just obsessed with. Again this kind of wood look is so in at the moment and you wouldn't even really be able to tell they were cupboards unless you were really looking for the kind of joins. How adorable was this little children's desk space? Navy obviously took a shining to it. So you have the table and chairs there. And then as you can see, she was really invested in this little light. I'm not sure what animal it is. It was giving me giraffe vibes, but I'm not sure. But that light was £35. Look at her clapping there, bless her. Then I thought I'd show you one of the new kitchen designs that they had in the store. So again, a very sleek, clean design. And you also have the two-tone there with the wood, which is in, and also two-tone I've seen a lot of around as well. And then I also like how they have carried on the wood onto this kind of breakfast bar on the side there. This chopping board here, so this is £35. So not your cheapest IKEA item, but it felt very heavy and really good quality. So you're definitely paying for the quality there and this pantry is in you I'm pretty sure I shared this in my last Ikea video I did but it just gives me joy it just makes me happy any kind of pantry storage space makes me really happy another little space saving desk is this one here and I've looked at this one before I'm pretty sure and again I think it's gone up in price it's now 70 pounds but we are looking for space saving desks for Lexi's room and this is one of the contenders because it is just really short and compact then I thought this washing basket was such a good find. So you can open it up and then you have the two different compartments which you could separate out lights and darks. But it's also on wheels so you can wheel it away. It's very narrow as well so you can put it into any kind of smaller gap. And they also did it in the white colour here which I'm showing you. And I just thought that was great. It was £50. So this bedroom here was also a new display to us and it was a very white bedroom but sometimes I feel like you cannot beat a white space for 
a tranquil, calm feeling. And then they have a bit of greenery added, a little bit of the wood tones coming in. The bed looks so cozy and inviting and the whole room just looked really relaxed. Now we are on to the kids' favorite section, which is of course, the children's area. So again, as I said, they had a whole bedroom here showcasing all of the ocean collection. They had used these circle lamps to create what looks like jellyfish hanging from the ceiling. They have duvets, cushions, towels, which are all ocean themed. The cutest turtle lights on the wall, so they were nine pound each. And then lastly, I wanted to share with you this rug, which was huge and simply stunning. It was £349, so not your cheapest ever, but just so gorgeous and would make any space look cozy and inviting. So that brings us to the end of everything that we found in Ikea on this trip. As I mentioned, I am bound to go back soon because I need to get the bits that I really want to do for my under the stairs cupboard. So if you do like Ikea videos, or perhaps you want me to do another what's new in kind of video like this, then please do subscribe subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I should hopefully be going back at some point in the near future to grab the bits which I have made a little note of in my head. Thank you so so much for watching this video. Honestly it means the world. Every single view I get I just I'm blown away and I just thank you so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!